Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com in the fourth week of November and the beginning of December 2022. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Singer and actress Irene Cara died November 25, 2022, at her home in Largo, Florida, at the age of 63. After starting out on The Electric Company and starring in Sparkle, she became a superstar in 1980 when she starred in the movie Fame and sang the hit title song. Cara is also being remembered for co-writing and singing Flashdance What a Feeling, for which she won an Oscar, a Grammy, and a Golden Globe. Actor Clarence Gilliard Jr. died in November 2022 at his home in Las Vegas. He died after a long illness at the age of 66. On TV, he starred in Walker, Texas Ranger as Jimmy Trebet, Walker's best friend and partner, and in Matlock as private investigator Conrad McMasters. Gilliard is also being remembered for playing tech genius Theo in Die Hard and Navy aviator Sundown in Top Gun. Comedian Freddie Roman died November 26, 2022, at a hospital in Boynton Beach, Florida. He died of a heart attack at the age of 85. He was a legend of Borschtveld comedy, who co-created and starred in Catskills on Broadway. Roman is being remembered as the longtime dean of the Friars Club, where he roasted celebrities including Chevy Chase and Hugh Hefner. Singer Louise Tobin died November 26, 2022, at her granddaughter's home in Carrollton, Texas, at the age of 104. Her musical career began in the 1930s, as she sang with big bands alongside such greats as Benny Goodman. Tobin is also being remembered for helping launch Frank Sinatra's career. She played his music for her husband, bandleader Harry James, who hired the young singer for his first big break. Hockey player Borja Salming died November 24, 2022, of ALS at the age of 71. He was one of the stars of the Toronto Maple Leafs in the 1970s and 80s, and he is still the franchise leader in points and goals scored by a defenseman. A native of Sweden, Salming is being remembered as one of the first European players in the NHL, paving the way for others. Musician Don Newkirk died November 25, 2022, at the age of 55. He is known for his collaborations with artists including De La Soul, Stetsasonic, and Third Bass. Newkirk is also being remembered for his 1989 solo album, Funk City. U.S. Representative Donald McEachin died November 28, 2022, of complications from colorectal cancer at the age of 61. He had represented Virginia's 4th District since 2017, elected to a fourth term just weeks before his death. McEachin is also being remembered for serving in Virginia's State House and Senate for two decades. Filmmaker Albert Pune died November 26, 2022, in Las Vegas at the age of 69. He was best known for the cult favorite, The Sword and the Sorcerer. Pune is also being remembered for his 1990 version of Captain America, as well as movies including Cyborg and Nemesis. Musician Gene Cipriano died November 12, 2022, at the age of 94. He was a multi-instrumentalist whose many credits include the oboe on Frank Sinatra's It Was a Very Good Year and the flute on the Peter Gunn theme song. Cipriano is also being remembered as a member of the legendary session band The Wrecking Crew, as well as for playing in the Academy Awards Orchestra for 60 years.
World leader Jiang Zemin died November 30th, 2022 in Shanghai. He died of leukemia and multiple organ failure at the age of 96. He was president of China from 1993 to 2003. Jiang is being remembered for presiding over a period of massive economic growth in China. Michael Perchuk died November 16, 2022, at his home in Santa Fe, New Mexico. He died of pneumonia at the age of 89. He led the Federal Trade Commission under President Jimmy Carter. He is being remembered for his important role in ushering in new seatbelt safety laws and requiring warning labels on cigarette packs. Perchuk was a U.S. Army veteran who served in the 1950s. Veteran Hiroshi Miyamura died November 29, 2022, in Phoenix at the age of 97. While some of his fellow Japanese Americans were being held in internment camps during World War II, he joined the U.S. Army and served his country as a machine gunner. Later, he served in the Korean War, where he heroically defended his squad from attacking Chinese forces before being captured as a prisoner of war. Miyamura is being remembered as the first living Japanese-American recipient of the Medal of Honor, which was awarded to him while he was held as a POW. Robert Silverstein died November 17, 2022, at the age of 73. He served as Staff Director and Chief Counsel for the Subcommittee on Disability Policy of the Senate Committee on Labor and Human Resources. Silverstein is being remembered for his important work in the drafting of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Football player John Hadle died November 30, 2022, at the age of 82. He was a standout quarterback for the San Diego Chargers in the 1960s and 70s, helping them to victory in the 1963 AFL Championship. Hadel is also being remembered as a legend of the University of Kansas, named the Jayhawks Player of the Century. Baseball player Gaylord Perry died December 1, 2022, at the age of 84. He was a two-time Cy Young Award winner and Baseball Hall of Famer who pitched for eight teams in his 22-year Major League career. Perry is being remembered for his spitballs and for his reputation for making batters think he was using the illegal pitching technique. Musician Christine McVie died November 30th, 2022, after a short illness at the age of 79. She was a member of Fleetwood Mac, singing and playing keyboards as well as writing some of their biggest hits. McVie is being remembered for her beautiful vocals on songs including Over My Head and Little Lies. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory, online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags across the United States, as well as state flags in Virginia, have been lowered to honor the memory of Representative Donald McEachin. Flags in Michigan have been lowered to honor the memory of the victims of the shooting at Oxford High School in Oakland County one year ago. Flags in Indiana have been lowered to honor the memory of former state representative Stephen Steve Braun. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Five years ago this week, actor Jim Neighbors died at the age of 87. He starred as Gomer Pyle in The Andy Griffith Show and its spin-off Gomer Pyle USMC. Fifteen years ago this week, stunt performer Evil Knievel died at the age of 69. He was known for daredevil motorcycle jumps, including over the Snake River Canyon. 
Model and actress Anna Nicole Smith was born 55 years ago this week. She died in 2007 at the age of 39. She rose to fame in a series of ads for Guess Jeans in the 1990s. Musician Jimi Hendrix was born 80 years ago this week. He died in 1970 at the age of 27. Widely considered one of the greatest guitarists in all of rock music, he is known for songs including Purple Haze and Hey Joe. Cartoonist Charles Schultz was born 100 years ago this week. He died in 2000 at the age of 77. He created the beloved and influential comic strip Peanuts, featuring Charlie Brown and Snoopy. Filmmaker and photographer Gordon Parks was born 110 years ago this week. He died in 2006 at the age of 93. He was a pioneer of black cinema, known for films including Shaft. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.